All right, BFit Nation. Looks like we are ready to go. Looks like things are up and running for us here at our BFit Nation, BFit HQ here. Welcome to a Motivational Monday, a great way to start our week here with our BFit Live programmed workout. All right, team, if you're new to the program, welcome. And we are happy that you are here ending the strong, strong 2021 with us here today. We have a great resistance-based workout available uh, to work out with you today. So uh, if you have any dumbbells, if you have any kettlebells, if you have anything to add resistance to your movements, let's go ahead and grab those now. Find a space that you will need. Um, if you have a mat, go ahead and grab that now. We have two movements that may be helpful uh, if we have a mat available to us, but not needed as well as uh, dumbbells. Not needed as well, but if we have them, go ahead and grab those now. If you're new to the exchange, BFIT Live program. Again, welcome. Uh, this is where we get to focus on ourselves, get to focus on uh, building up our strength, our resistance, staying active every step, every rep. Uh, I will be here with you. Uh, BFIT Ambassador Roy Monta is here. So again, get settled in here. If you have, uh, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're joining from. Uh, leave us a note in the comments below right here. Um, again, where are you joining from? Where are you ending the year uh, at? You know, let us know. All right, team. Okay, um, the timing for today, team, the timing for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round and four rounds, all right, team? So that's just at a under 20 minute workout. We're gonna go through some dynamic stretching before uh, the workout. I will go ahead and demonstrate each of the four movements that we're gonna tackle for today, and then we'll jump directly into the workout. So not too bad, it goes by really quick, trust me, Again, the timing is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Sound great? All right, I know it does. I know it's the, uh, let's see, it's the 20th today. So um, coming down to the end of the year, right? Um, last Monday workout for us today? Um, no, second to last. We're gonna find out. All right, um, again, welcome and join us. Um, that's what I have for today. Those are my notes. Uh, so let's go through the demonstrations for today. Again, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, cashing out at the end of our year here. So be mindful of our goals. Be mindful of uh, pushing towards the end of the year and also refocusing and resetting uh, towards the new year, team. All right, okay? Um, four movements for today, all right? We have four movements that we are going to tackle for today. A full body resistance-based workout is what we're going to move through for today. So uh, let's go ahead and be mindful. I want you to be mindful of our movements, right? We're going to move with a purpose, right? So each movement is going to have its own purpose. Be mindful of the specific body movements that we're using to execute each of these four movements. Okay, team. Movement number one, okay? <clears throat> 40 seconds of work here. We have a static lunge to an overhead press. So we're going to grab one dumbbell here. We're going to go down into a static lunge. So 20 seconds on each leg and each arm. Left leg is forward. Uh, go ahead and take a step back to your back of your workout space here. You're going to front load your weight. So your dumbbell is going to be racked up top, um, <clears throat> 90 degree bend at our elbow or our stack, stack our wrists underneath our elbow. That's going to be key number one. From here, we're going to take that nice long step forward for our lunge, right? We're going to go down into our lunge position. So static lunge here, our rear knee drops down, our front knee hits at about a 90 degree angle. So you want that front knee at that 90 degree bend and that rear knee. From here, you're going to extend up all the way and you're gonna press overhead. And then we're right back down into that static lunge. At the top, you have our overhead single arm dumbbell press. Okay, 20 seconds for one arm, one leg. And then we're gonna go ahead and alternate legs here. Again, find our workout distance here, our, our foot placement. Front rack here on our dumbbell. Drop down into our lunge, static lunge, and then at the top, overhead press. So a combination movement of lower body plus upper body movement here. Not only that, but we're really utilizing our core as engagement to focus on stability, on balance. That way we don't lose our balance. So really think about core engagement here when we are pressing up into that overhead press. All right, team. Uh, go ahead and grab a second dumbbell here because we're going to be on the floor on our backs for movement number two. We have a glute bridge with a chest press. So <clears throat> glute, bri glute, glute bridge with a chest press. All right. We're coming down in a seated position. 
we're gonna bring our feet shoulder width apart, all right? Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna come down onto our backs here with our dumbbells. So we wanna think about a chest press. A lot of key components here. Feet shoulder width apart. Um, our hands are gonna be facing forward, right? Hands are gonna be facing forward. Our palms are gonna be facing forward. From here, we wanna go up to our glute bridge. So what does that mean? Our knees all the way down to our neck is gonna be in a relatively straight line. That's gonna be our glute bridge, really engaging our glutes at this full position. So a little two for one combination here. Again, lower body work with our glute bridge from here. We're gonna bring our arms down to the floor, just inside of that straight T. Think about a T, wanna be inside of that movement there. And then we're gonna press up with those dumbbells. So chest press with a glute bridge to activate our lower body for movement number two. All right, team, we wanna go at our own pace, at our own comfort level. Um, if Think about uh, if we just need to remove those weights and we're here with our arms, perfectly fine. If we wanna load up and really progress on some weight, now's a great time to do that. That's a great, this is a great movement if we don't have a bench available to us, but we do have some weight, a great alternative for a chest press variation. All right, team, that's movement number two. Movement number three, we're gonna stick with two dumbbells here. So two dumbbells, we have a sumo squat with a bicep curl, all right? Sumo squat with that lower body, position. So our feet are going to be stacked. Actually, our feet are going to be wider than shoulder width apart. Our toes are going to be flaring out a little bit for comfort here. All right, team. Our knees want to go in that direction of the toes once we sit back into our sumo squat. So we want to bind our pair of dumbbells here. Our palms are going to face the front of the room, which means our elbows are tucked in just at our diaphragm, right? Right at our side, just at our diaphragm. All right. Assume our sumo squat position here. We're gonna push our hips back, keeping our chest up, controlling our body on the way down. As you come up, we come up into our bicep curl. Again, only hinging at our elbows, control our weight on the way down, trying to keep our shoulders rolled back instead of caving forward, all right? Rolling back, sumo squat here, up into our bicep curl for movement number three. So sumo squat, bicep curl combination for movement number three. And the last and final movement here, <clears throat> we are focusing on core. So we have 10 core twists and 10 mountain climbers. And then we repeat that for the 40 seconds of work. All right, team. So 10 core twist, twists and 10 mountain climbers. Back in that seated position, we are gonna recline back. Two options here, our heels can be placed on the floor or our heels can be elevated for a bit of a more challenging movement here. From here, we're gonna rotate hip to hip here, one, two, as our shoulders rotate, our head rotates as well, right? A little bit of a core twist here out of those 10 core twists. We're gonna quickly turn over, high plank position here. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders, driving those knees in for our 10 mountain climbers. Reset, back into that recline position, and then we have 10 core twists and 10 mountain climbers. Depending on how fast you do those combination movements of core twists and mountain climbers can dictate how many times you go through that cycle in that 40 seconds of work. All right, team, sound good? All right. Well, again, glad to have you with us with our BFIT Live programmed workout. Again, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know how your year has gone. How has our BFIT Live program helped you to stay active, to stay ready, to stay resilient, to stay focused on our health and wellness team? All right, as we get settled in, um, again, we'll go through some dynamic stretching right now, and then we'll jump directly into the workout. So grab that water, towel off real quick while we uh, kind of gain, regain our composure here, and we will go through some dynamic stretching. All right, team. So we have some lower body movements. We have some upper body movements. So with that, we'd like to focus on stretching out those specific movements, those specific body uh, muscle groups that we are about to tackle for today. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. All right, team, we're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna extend it back towards our glutes. Left arm extends up, really pushing those hips forward. Take a few seconds to set in <clears throat> that dynamic quad stretch with that right arm or left arm up, nice and strong. And then repeat, go ahead and switch legs as needed, as quickly as needed, or as slowly as needed. We'll do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds here. 
and then we will go ahead and rotate. All right, nice and easy here to our comfort level as well. All right, looking good team. A few more here, just to open up our hips. Good, good, good. All right, back of our workout space here, we're thinking leg extension kicks here. So we're thinking hamstrings and glutes, right leg. Take that right leg, arms are extended out, right leg nice and straight here with our kicks. You'll feel this nice active stretch in our hamstring. A little bit of a glute action here. Some call these zombie kicks. Good. Nice and easy here. Again, just warming up that lower body. A little bit of a twist here, right? Diagonal left to right, right to left. Good. Nice deep breath in. Exhale as you kick out. <clears throat> Good, last three, two, <clears throat> one, as I catch my breath here. All right, let's look into a reverse lunge with that overhead reach. <clears throat> Again, we have that static lunge here, so this can help us out as well. Come to the workout, top of our workout space here. We're gonna take that right leg, we are gonna extend it back, down, right arm comes up, and right arm reaches over to our left. Back up to standing position, extend back, drop those hips back, left arm goes up, left arm goes over to our right hand side, and then we are back to standing position. All right, moving at our own pace here. Really set into that reverse lunge as needed. Good. Again, opening up our hips, thinking about that overhead stretch, really opening up our lats, our back as well. <clears throat> Good job, team. Last here, last three, two, one lateral lunges here, fixed feet, lateral lunges. We're gonna take a nice wide stance. Feet are gonna be fixed forward. All right, from here, we're just gonna shift our weight over to our right. Nice up posture, nice straight posture here. And then over to our left, okay? You're gonna feel that stretch in our inner thigh. Again, some blood flow moving to our lower body here, going at our own pace. What's great about these movements is that you can, Go as slow or as fast as your body needs, right? Every body is different. So really taking the time each and every day to kind of stretch out, really work on mobility, get blood flow moving to our legs if we're seated for a long period of time. These dynamic stretches can really help us with range of motion, with our flexibility, our mobility, really just moving a little bit more freely and a little more uh, injury free throughout the day, no matter what we are doing, these can help. All right, last three, two, one, last one here. All right, team. <clears throat> YTW, just to open up some of our mid to upper back and our shoulders here. Take a nice, strong stance here. This is going to be our center from here. Hands together, we're going to make a big Y with our arms. Coming back to center here, a big T. Thumbs are going to face the back of the room here. Feeling our shoulder blades squeeze together in a big W. Those are going to be our three movements here. Big Y coming back to the top here. Again, reaching up a little higher, a little taller left to right here, a little further. A big W, nice proud chest, shoulders are rolled back. Good, feeling that stretch right there in your shoulders, your chest. Again, back is coming together with our shoulder blades. Big Y once again. Nice deep breath in. Exhale as you make that big T formation. Good. Coming back together. Big W, showing off our biceps here. One more time through. A little bit quicker here. Big Y, big T, big W. All right, team. We are good to go here. We are good to go. Again, um, take this time right now while I get my timer ready and set to kind of move around active, actively. And if there are any uh, Tight, tight areas within your body. Now is a great time to kind of move around and go through those. All right, team. <clears throat> All right, a little bit of holiday workout for us today, a little holiday workout. Again, movement number one is our static lunge to press, 20 seconds on each arm, each leg, which is gonna be really quick right now. So 40 seconds of work there. After that, we have 40 seconds of a glute bridge chest press. Glute bridge chest press for movement number two. Movement number three, we go into our sumo squat to a bicep curl, okay? A little combination movement there of lower body and upper body. And last and final movement, we have 10 
core twists with 10 mountain climbers, okay? Get our heart rate elevated just a little bit more and kind of really focus on our core activation and really just burning those calories with that last and final movement before we go into our 60 seconds of rest. All right, team, we have four rounds, one minute rest in between each round, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Grab our dumbbells here, static lunge with a uh, shoulder press. One dumbbell is all you'll need for this movement. 10 seconds here before we jump into the movement. All right, here we go, team. Three, <clears throat> two, one. Sticking with one dumbbell here, static lunge here. So left leg is forward, right leg is back. We are dropping down with that rear knee. As we press up, we are pressing up with an overhead press, okay? That left arm is gonna extend out for counterbalance. We can keep it on our hip, we can keep it on our quad. Good. Last two seconds, one, and then we will alternate. Good, press up, go ahead and send that opposite leg back, front rack in your position here. Good, nice controlled movement here. Good, last five. Out in three, two, one, good job. 20 seconds here, grab two dumbbells with our glute bridge chest press. All right, team, glute bridge chest press coming up in 10 seconds. Again, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna extend back onto our back. Last three, two, we are up and working. Palms facing the front of the room. Again, raise those hips. We want a relatively straight line from our neck all the way down from to our heel, I mean, our, sorry, our knees all the way to our neck. All right, from here, you're gonna focus on your chest press, okay? A little bit of a decline chest press. Good, nice control with your chest press here. 17 seconds, again, relatively straight line. So I want your hips pressed up. Good, glute activated here, eight seconds. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, drop those dumbbells here. We're gonna go into a sumo squat with a bicep curl. So two dumbbells needed. If you have only one dumbbell, Go ahead and grab one with the center and we'll go ahead and raise up if it's a heavier dumbbell. All right, two or one here. Sumo squat, bicep curl. Here we go, team. Feet are flared, toes are flared out, pushing those hips back. Sumo squat, keeping our chest up as we roll, as we control our bodies down into that sumo squat position. Good. Good job here. Again, with our resistance-based days, we really wanna focus on our form, right? We wanna focus on the quality of movements that we are moving through for today. Pushing those hips back. Our knees are tracking towards our toe angle. Five seconds here. Last three, two, one. Good job with that sumo. You really, really think about engaging that lower part of our glute, right? Our hamstrings, our quads, that outer sweep. 10 seconds here as we catch our breath, 10 core twists, and a quick turnover to 10 mountain climbers. Five seconds here. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Core twists first. Heels can be on the floor or heels can be elevated a few inches. Out of those 10, quickly turn over here into our 10 mountain climbers. Good, we're right back over in that seated position with our 10 core twists. All right, team. Good job. Nice quick transition. Think about that quick transition. Good. Out in five, finish this out. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Great first round done. Woo. Grab our water here. Again, this is a great time, 60 seconds of rest here. It's a great time to kind of recalibrate, switch our mindset over and say, all right, how was our first round? Are we able to kind of progress in a stronger, um, in a stronger weight? Can we increase our weight? Can we increase our tempo for the second, third and fourth round? Now we know the movements. Now we know exactly what we're gonna get into. Let's think about that form correction, correct? 
All right, think about that safety first, but also think about challenging yourself just a little bit more, right? Into the year here, right? Let's leave it all here. 13 seconds here, static lunge to a shoulder press. Let's go ahead and walk out and get ready. Ooh, all right, team. Five seconds here, grab a single dumbbell, static lunge, left leg forward, right leg back into one, and we're down into our static lunge, up, overhead press. Good. Now we know the movement here. Find our balance. Good. Again, hand out for counterbalance. We can be on our, on our hip here or on our quad. Two seconds and we're gonna switch. One, right leg is up, left leg is back. Front rack, press up. Good. Good. Here we go, team, less than five seconds. In three, two, one, and time. Good job. Two dumbbells here. We are quickly on the floor with a glute bridge chest press. So here we go. Seven seconds here, a quick transition to the floor. We are up in three, two, one. All right, team feet shoulder width apart. Once again, raise up into our glute bridge. Control our weight into our chest press. This around, I want you to think about where your elbows are hitting to the floor. Okay, from an aerial view, they shouldn't be in a T formation, but rather in an arrow form formation, okay? All right. I wanna take a little bit of pressure off of our shoulders. So if you're in that T formation from that aerial view, think about tucking those elbows in a little closer to your torso. Think about an arrow position when you come down and meet. Last two, last one, last rep. All right, team, good job. 17 seconds of rest here. We're gonna pop back up, sumo squat bicep curl. Ooh, things are warming up today. Job. All right, grabbing a pair of bells here. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Sumo squat to bicep curl. Good. Nice control of the weight here. Also think about our breathing, right? Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you come back up to standing and then into your bicep curl. Those elbows are tucked in close to our torso. Good. Elbows are rolled, shoulders are rolled back. Last five seconds here. And in three, two, one, rest. All right, recover here for 20 seconds. Core activation right here. Again, 10 and 10 is our rep count, core twist and mountain climbers. All right, team, we are on our deck, on our backs here, on our hips. All right, 10 and 10 here, 10 core twists and 10 mountain climbers. Good. All right, out of those twin, you have a 10, you have a quick transition. Good, as quick as you can. Now, if you wanna scale this movement up with your core twist, go ahead and grab one of those dumbbells, right? One of those dumbbells and push and pull from left to right. Here we go. Last five, out in three. Two, one, time. Good job, recover here. Ooh, second round complete. Second round is done, we're up nice and tall, standing nice and proud here. All right, two rounds done team. Let us know in the comments below, which is your favorite movement from today. That's a great time to hydrate, rehydrate, recover here. Let's catch our breath. Get our breathing back under control here. Good, 27 seconds here. Again, if you're new to the program, just under 20 minutes here where we're going through four rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four movements through each of those rounds, 15 seconds here. Grab that one pair, that one bell. Static lunge to an overhead press in eight seconds. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Front rack position. We are up team in three, 
two, one. Here we go. With a smile, right? With a smile. 20 seconds on our right arm. Then we will alternate to our left as well as our foot placement. Good. Four, three, two, alternating. Right leg forward, left leg back. Left arm has the bell. Good. Think about extending up nice and strong, pushing those hips back, engaging our quads, glutes, hamstrings. Good. Last three, two, one, recover here. Two dumbbells on deck. Team, if some of us want to go into a glute bridge only, that's perfectly fine. We will go ahead and lower and raise our hips within that glute bridge. We are up in three, two, one, rolling back here. Glute bridge up. Good. Think about increasing our tempo here for this round. How many reps can you get within 40 seconds? Always be mindful of our hips. Keep those glutes activated. Knee all the way down to our neck in a relatively straight line. 12 seconds and out. Eight seconds. Out in three, two, one, and recover. Good job. Drop the weight here. Back to standing position here. Sumo squat bicep curl. Nice deep breath in. 10 seconds here. Good job, team. Good job. Keep it up. All right. We're back to two bells here. Two dumbbells, sumo squat, bicep curl. Here we go. Two, one, and here we go. Time. Time to work. Good. Good. Again, on the way down, on the way up. Nice, proud chest. Keep that chest up. Try not to cave down. That chest should not look towards the floor, but rather towards the front of the room here. Good, 13 and out. Two for one movements here, right? Let me make the most of our time. So combining movements, three, two, and recover. Combining movements for that nice short workout can really help just engage that full body movement here. Full body workout. So what we're trying to do with that compact movement here, compact time. Core twist, mountain climbers coming up in three, two, one, scale up if needed. Here we go, 10 and 10. Elevate those heels this round. Good job. There we go, team. Last 18 seconds. Nice, quick transition. Out in 12. Last five, four, finish this out. Three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. Ooh. Team, round three in the books for us. Stand up tall, grab that water here. This is a nice time to walk it off here. Shake it off, walk it off. Be proud of the last three rounds. Moving into that final round, right? That fourth and final round for us today on our BFIT Live program. Again, it's a great time. Kind of reset ourselves, reset our breathing. Right? If you're finding these movements a little difficult, that's okay. They should be difficult. They should be where they should meet us where we are at at our fitness level today. 15 seconds, All right? Just give me a little bit of your effort. Give me whatever you can give me here and we'll push through together. Static lunge, shoulder press, 20 seconds each side. Got that one bell here. Right left leg is forward, right leg is back. Front rack position, drop that rear knee down. We're working. Find our balance here when we get fatigued. Think about it, keeping our core nice and tight. Our breathing is under control here. Good. A little more difficult. 
when we are fatigued. Last two seconds, we're gonna switch one. All right, switch that leg and arm position. Good. Nice controlled movements here. Good, out in three. Recovering in two, one, last rep, finish it out. Good, drop that weight or increase that weight here. Again, chest press variation. Five seconds here, we are on deck. Our goal for this last round is to increase our tempo. 40 seconds on the clock. We're working team. Good. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you press up. Glutes engaged here. Where are our arms hitting? Think about that arrow position from an aerial view. 17 seconds, keep wrapping it out here. Good job. Finish it out with me here at an eight. Last five, glutes engaged. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Woo. All right. Sumo curl, bicep, sumo squat, bicep curl. Eight seconds here. All right, quick transition. Find that weight. Here we go, team. Up in three. Two, one, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock here. Let's go ahead and work. Nice strong position here. Good, work through it. Halfway there. Every rep, every step, control that body. Control your movements here. Don't let go of your great form. Push those hips back. We need to drop the weight. Let's drop the weight. Finish up the set here. Out in three, two, one. Time. Good job. 20 seconds here. Core twists. Mountain climbers. Last and final round. Let's try and elevate our heels here. Let's also try to scale up our core twists by adding some weight. If we haven't already, we are up in three, two, one. Last set, best set, team. Come on. We can do it. All right. We are right over. Good job. All right, team. Last 18 seconds. Finish out strong with us. Come on, BFit Nation. Good, last 10. Finish this out. Keep moving. All right, out in four. Last three, two, one. Control and time. <laughs> a little bit of a longer pause at the end, huh? Good job, BFit Nation. <laughs> Great work today. As we recover here, stand up nice and tall. Grab that drink of water. Hydrate here, whatever we may be drinking on. Recovery wise, let's go ahead and towel off. Recover here as we make our way down. Quick note here, this is a great time to kind of recover here. Add in some additional cooling, cooling off movements, right? If we need to stretch out as we hydrate, let's go ahead and sit on the floor, um, go through some of the dynamic stretches that we did ahead of time, or let's go through some static stretching as well, right? Hamstrings, quads, right? Let's go ahead and extend that leg back to our glute, stretching out our quads. If we're on the floor here, we can go ahead and reach to our left and to our right. Good, open up our hips here as we catch our breath. Great work today, BFit Nation. Again, this is a nice, great, a great holiday workout. To kick us to kick off our new week for today. All right, team. Great job. Great work today. Again, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what your favorite movement was. Right? Are you do you have dumbbells available to you? That's a great note for me uh, to be aware of. That way I can incorporate more bodyweight movements or more resistance-based movements, depending on 
what we have accessible to us. All right, team, obviously to our fitness level. So always move to your comfort level, but I always want you to challenge yourself, but also I want you to uh, move to your comfort level, right team? I want us to be safe about our movements, but I also want, to, I want us to be controlled with our movements, but I also want us to have fun and challenge ourselves to the best of our abilities on where we are at today, right? Every day me maybe may feel a little differently. So again, that's, that's something to think about as well is where we are today versus, you know, yesterday or the day before, right? How are we feeling? That can really uh, be the, the judge of how we move today. Every day is different, but also every day is a workout. What we do within our space here within our BFIT Live program can be really beneficial to the movements that we do outside of here. A lot of functional movements that we incorporate within the, the workouts that we include in our BFIT Live program. So I want you to take these movements and, and before you know it, mind and muscle connection and that muscle memory can take over while you are executing similar movements outside of the gym that can really help strengthen your overall movements, your, um, your targeted muscle groups that we've worked throughout today. Uh, so uh, things should get a little stronger and, and, and theoretically, uh, we should be more uh, able to move a little bit better. And that's it, just, just to be active, right? We wanna be uh, healthier and the best versions of ourselves. So great work today, BFIT Nation. Again, I really enjoy you tuning in today. I really enjoy all of your comments. Um, again, we are one community, one team um, to help us stay active, to stay ready, to stay resilient throughout our, our lifestyle, right team? So again, thanks for joining us today. If you are looking for any additional workouts, look on our Facebook page uh, right underneath our BFIT playlist. You'll find our full BFIT Live catalog. If YouTube is your platform, go ahead and shop over on YouTube. Click on over to YouTube at Shop My Exchange. We have a BFIT <clears throat> excuse me, a BFIT playlist with all of our programmed workouts available as well on our YouTube platform. Hit the like and subscribe button as well. Share with your friends and family, both on Facebook <clears throat> and on YouTube. That way we can help keep each other accountable throughout our weeks, throughout our days. Again, if you're looking for a Monday through Friday workout, we have you covered right here where every workout has been different since the day we started team, okay? Again, resistance-based movements were was the targeted goal for today. So nice control form, really um, controlled form uh, as we push our weight around. Be mindful of our form, be mindful of our hinge movements, of what targeted muscle groups we are activating while we are performing each lift. All right, team. Great work today once again. Happy holidays and be fit live. We'll see you again very, very soon. <laughs> All right, every Monday is at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We will see you back here on our exchange Facebook page team. All right, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes signing off team. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.